Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. So sometimes, I don't know if you've ever had this, where you find it hard telling the difference between the truth and a lie. And that can make it difficult to decide between what is right and what is wrong. Even Jesus faced choices just like we do, but he always chose what is right. In Psalms 119 verse 105, it says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. If we look in Matthew, we can see where Jesus used God's word in the Bible as a lamp to his feet and a light to his path. Press pause now and go and fetch your Bible so you can learn the truth as you read along with us. Matthew 4 verses 1 to 11. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted there by the devil. For forty days and forty nights he fasted and became very hungry. During that time the devil came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus told him, No, the scriptures say, People do not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple, and he said, If you are the Son of God, jump off, for the scriptures say, He will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Jesus responded, The scriptures also say, you must not test the Lord your God. Next, the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. I will give it all to you, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. Get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him, for the scripture says, you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil went away, and the angels came and took care of Jesus. From this we can see that Jesus had a choice to either believe the devil's lies or God's truth. Jesus used God's word to combat the devil's lies when he was being tempted in the wilderness. Jesus was ready because he knew God's word. Jesus responded to Satan's lies with God's word. So he combated Satan's lies with God's word. The Bible helps us recognize Satan's lies and the Bible gives us Jesus' wisdom to make the right choices. If we memorize God's word, we can store it in our minds and in our hearts. Psalms 119 verse 11 says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Wow guys, isn't it so encouraging to know that Jesus had the word of God hidden in his heart? And when the enemy came and tried to tempt and trick Jesus, he knew the truth, and so Jesus wasn't tricked. Sometimes when we believe something that isn't true, it's like being stuck in the key mug. That's so true, Plumedi. Hey, that makes me think of a game that we can play, and you guys can play along as well. So I'm going to say a statement. If you think the statement is true and it's written in the Bible, then I want you to take a step forward. But if the statement is a lie, then I want you to stay exactly where you are. To find out if the statement is true, press pause when the verse comes up on the screen so you can look it up in your own Bible. So let's get started. Yes. Let's play. <laughs> the first statement is, it is better to give than to receive. Read Acts 20 verse 35 in your Bible to find out if the statement is true or a lie. was true. Did you guys get it right? Well, in Acts 20 35 it says, you should remember the words of the Lord Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Jesus told us that he wants us to give to others. He wants us to be a blessing. So why don't you go this week and see if there's something that you could give to somebody and you could be a blessing. The next statement is, I don't have to be afraid. If you think that's true, then step forward. If you think it's a lie, stand still. Read 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 in your Bible to find out if the statement is true or a lie. That statement was true. Did you guys 
must get it right? Well, the Bible tells us in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Now, that doesn't mean that scary stuff isn't going to happen in our lives. They are. But we know that God is always with us and He'll never leave us. And because of that, we know that God will give us the power and the strength that we need to face any scary situation. The next statement is, the Bible is just a story. If you think that's true, then step forward. If you think it's a lie, stand still. Read 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 to 17 to find out if the statement is true or a lie. Oh no, guys, that statement was a lie. I hope you didn't step forward. But let's read what the Bible says. In 2 Timothy 3, verse 16 to 17, it says, All scripture, that's the Bible, is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. So even though the Bible is filled with stories, it's not just a made up story. It's actually a message directly from God telling us how we should live our lives. The next statement is, all good people go to heaven. Read John 3 verse 16 in your Bible to find out if the statement is true or a lie. says in John 3 16 for this is how God loved the world he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life God wants us to do good things but it's not by doing good things that we'll go to heaven the only way we can get to heaven is by believing that Jesus is who he said he was believing that Jesus died for us and that he was raised back to life that's all we have to do is believe in Jesus. The next statement is, God forgives all sins. If you think that's true, then step forward. If you think it's a lie, don't move. Read 1 John 1 verse 9 in your Bible to find out if the statement is true or a lie. In 1 John 1 verse 9 but if we confess our sins to him he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness there is nothing that we can do that is too bad for Jesus to forgive Jesus has already died on the cross he has already paid the price for our sins and all he's asking us to do is to confess our sins to tell him our sins and to be really sorry about and no matter what we've done, Jesus will always forgive us. The next statement is, there are lots of ways to get to heaven. Read John 14 verse 6 in your Bible to find out if the statement is true or a lie. Guys, that statement is not true. Let's look in our Bibles. Do you have yours ready? Well, John 14 verse 6 says, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Believing in Jesus, believing that Jesus is the Son of God, that he was sent to earth to die on the cross for our sins, and believing that he was raised back to life, is the only way we can get to heaven. 
The next statement is, I am too young to be used by God. Read 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 to find out if the statement is true or a lie. Guys, that statement is a lie. So let's read it together in our Bibles. In 1 Timothy 4 verse 12, it says, Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. Our age doesn't matter to God. What matters to Him is our hearts. And if our hearts believe in Him and we're living our lives to honor Him, God can and will use you. So why don't you go and play this game with some of your family members or your friends and teach them about some of the truths that you have learned today. And that's what this whole lesson was about. It was about getting real with God's truth, the Bible. The Bible tells us that when we spend time with God and we know the truth, we're like wise builders that build their houses on solid rock. And when life happens and things get crazy and we have to make decisions just like Jesus did, are we going to make the right decision because we know the truth or are we going to get stuck in the mud? I hope you guys had fun. See you next time.